disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is Connor Orr coming to you with another episode of XCOM 2. Today we are, as Bradford just says, taking on an on a advent convoy that's got a number of alien hostiles with it. And the good news is we have a pretty skilled squad that can accomplish it. The bad news is it's not my go-to first stringers. Uh, for the most part, we actually have a couple of our first guys actually hammered pretty hard in the wake of last um, mission's sabotage. On the plus side, it doesn't seem like we're actually under any sort of... Um, what you call it? True, what's the term? Time limit, that's the term I'm looking for. Uh, to accomplish this, which is good, because we got an enemy squad here. I really, really don't want to have to deal with crazy amounts of, um, like having to rush. I, I don't know. I just that's one of those things. Just that doesn't make me feel particularly great. On the plus side, uh, we have at least a moderately skilled specialist with us still, who actually has, um, a skulljack opportunity. Now, why does he have that? We, I mean, we already have all of everybody, you know, skull mind that we want to, you know, have skull mind, right? No, um, I actually just finished a project in the Proven Grounds called Skull Mining, which now I think allows me to mine any Advent Trooper. Now, I might be wrong on that one. I might be completely off in fact. Um, so if I am, I'm utterly, completely, and massively sorry for wasting everybody's time. But I don't think that's the case. And frankly, I kind of want to know how it works. Oh, come on. Okay, we're just gonna chill a minute and hope that actually they shift back down because otherwise I've wasted an entire move. Get my troops deployed to what I thought would be a little bit more making sense. But apparently not. Alright, so you can still see stuff. You can still see stuff. I have my snipers up top. That's fine. That's more than enough, I would think. Keep Jane in cover back here. And maybe move up Melissa. Actually, on this particular mission, we are packing two grenadiers. Um, in one particular case, actually, Melissa's also carrying a med kit, mostly because I'm a little nervous. Um, I only have one specialist, and that particular specialist only has a single use of the nano med kit. Which I don't really want to have to worry about too, too much. I know what's going to happen. I'm just going to take a shot at these guys, because they're just asking for it, really. How good of a shot can you manage any of them? 78, 76, 67. You would still one-shot pretty much everybody there. Uh, yeah, I might do that. Say, screw it, and... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say screw it. We're going to wait for those bros to... Make their way back down here. This is one of the few times we actually get to have the drop on people. So, folks, I will let you know. In fact, I'll probably cut it to when we actually take a contact. Because for right now, I don't see that happening. Um, and I really want to get a skull mine on this just to see how that particular mechanic is going to work. So, I'm going to finish out this turn. And, folks, I will see you when I take a hard contact. Check you guys in a couple moves. Hey folks, I think we're going to get the best we're going to do on this particular moment. So, as you can see here, this pod is kind of patrolled back and forth and back and forth. And I was really hoping we're going to move a little bit further to the south, i.e. closer, so that way it would be easier for me to do something like skulljacking. Um, but apparently that's not the case. So, that's fun. Um, that's just going to mean that we're going to go and just do an absolute ridiculous amount of... I want to kill all y'all as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So, you are going to put yourself to Overwatch. I will use a rupture attack to start everything off. 
You'll be on Overwatch. I'm sure somebody's going somebody's to charge. You're going to Overwatch. As, actually, you know what? Let's not put you on Overwatch. Just on the off chance that I'm wrong. Um, you know what? Let's do a Lightning Hands attack, too. It seems a little bit weird, perhaps, to use a Lightning Hands attack. Um, but with so many people on Overwatch in the first place, that should be a solid hit right there. They'll freak out. That's fine. Freak out, bro. I dare you. That'd be nice if people actually did something correct. Okay, that was a decent first shot. That's fine. Promotion earned. Nice, nice. Now, is it just not possible for me to do that? It's just, is it... Hmm, let's just 54 for a second. Now, how about you? Putting you in Overwatch seems like a fair idea. Taking another shot with pistol might be a good idea, too. Quick draw? Okay. Let's just do this. It might kill him. Or put him into, like, death range. It'd be kind of nice if he just hunkered, but I don't think it's going to happen. And he's definitely not going to do that now. He's just going to die. So it's annoying, but that's pretty much what we had to do with. Okay. I definitely got that one. Yeah, you did. Good job. Here. How did he see... Okay. That's fine. At least they charged me. Okay, you guys can see? Good, you can see them both. Much harder to see that guy. How about you? Good, you can also see them both. Rupture. 50%. Um, let's just try doing a rupture attack over here. One in two chance. She misses, which is not perfect, but, you know, whatever. It's not that it's not good, it's just that you could have done better. Could have done much better. Why? Because I expect a lot from you. So we have three of at least nine targets down, which is always kind of a solid idea. That works for me. Um, maybe I can manage to get a grenade to hit both? That'd be kind of sexy. That might hit both. And if nothing else, to take out the cover of the guy in the bottom. As of right now, we already have the loot on the ground. Hey, cool. So now he's wide open. Fantastic. It's probably going to be harder than I think to actually keep people alive to be Skulljacked. Just because, honestly, it's just so stinking easy to kill them now. Not sure how you can't see that guy again. But, you know, life's full of small challenges. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy that one so much. It's like, tired of waiting around? Maybe I am. So what if I am? Alright. Slotting you forward a little bit. And... Let's just shoot the Heavy Lancer and just kind of be done with him. Annoyingly enough, this means that the off the Advent Officer is probably going to go and make a run for cover. She's going to mark her. Is I get to take a shot, too? Oh, wow, really? No shot? Okay, cool. Now, if I go here and I can't you know, hit the bro with, oh jeez, I'm proccing somebody else. Yes, I am. A codex and two sectoids. Isn't that great? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so clearly I can't actually kill him. Or I rather, I can kill him, and that's really the problem. Let's see if we can get you in there real quick. Yeah, it's going to get you seen. That's a problem. 
Okay, you're gonna reload. And then you're gonna go and take a pistol shot. And hopefully kill him, so that way... Our ranger is apparently not gonna have the same amount of success that she had before. <sighs> okay. I really want to keep the ranger up and healthy. Oh, that the concealment up and healthy. Shifting forward with her would allow me to get some damage on Seems doable. the other baddies, I think. And that's not what I was looking for, but that would be. It is going to make the um, codex shift positions, which is not going to be great. But, you know. Again, oh well. Actually, the sector is probably going to burn down, too. Okay, so you are going to first take care of this codex over here on the right. And once again, that grace mechanic is just so OP in my mind. Death from above, which means you are now going to take a pistol shot at this avid officer and you're going to kill him. Thank you for killing him. So now we have two bad guys. Well, three bad guys actually still up, but one of them isn't really going to be too much of an issue. Wow, cool. Okay, so we have conditioning. We have focus, and we have an expanded mag. Sweet, so we got more toys. Target asset recovered. Heading out. I really gotta, honestly, maybe maybe I have to look up and see what that skull mining thing actually does, because it's a little bit ridiculous to me to think that I can't actually do anything with it. Let's just stick you on Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, I kind of thought he was going to burn to death already. Pick him out of the air, pick him out of the air. He's like a clay pigeon. Well shot, my dear, well shot. I actually kind of wish that Guardian was something that was on um, Grenadiers as opposed to necessarily on uh, what are they called? Specialists. Cool story, bro. You disabled my weapon. Big rinky-dink deal. You are going to reload first. <laughs> then actually, you know what? You're going to take a... Use a hail of bullets to guarantee death. I believe the term is hashtag worth. Eyes on the other sectoid? Yes, sir. That works for me, because now... I should be able... Well, first of all, to back her out of... The Rift of Death. You can reload, and actually at the same time, you can also toss a battle scanner up here. Because now we know that guy's up there, but we don't know if anybody else is going on over here, too. And the answer to that is we have absolutely no idea. I wonder if I can sneak you through. I wonder if moving through actually disables the weapon. And the answer to that is no. Cool. Let's try taking a shot from here. Dude, Anna Ruiz. Taking names, son. Oh, and that and that's the thing that gives her the free action? Jeez. Whatever. Overwatch. Overwatch, you might as well. And you're going to slide here to the right, just in the off chance you're somehow in the rift. Yes, mission critical supplies, right? That's the equipment we're yeah. after. We'll have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Shh. 
I think that rift would be kind of cool if it, like, carved out part of the mountain. But for someone who is still in hiding, let's move here forward and see if we can see what else is on the map waiting for us. Is this too aggressive? I think it's gotta be. Huh. Where is everybody? Overwatch. We'll stick you up here as well. I'll probably use your scanning the area thing. Actually, we're not going to use your scanning thing because apparently that'd be a complete and total waste of time. However, it looks like somewhere we're actually in a mausoleum of some sort. I think we're in Australia, if memory serves. I actually legitimately don't remember what continent we're on. But, you know, just like every other battlefield, eventually they all start running together after a while. I will say, I definitely do feel a little more replayability, because I, I don't, I'm not recognizing maps just yet, which I think is a really, really big point of positivity to mention about this game. We should still have a mech out here, I think. Order's confirmed. Moving out. On a hostile patrol. Ah, here we go. Don't know what the patrol is. Okay, mech and some other bros. A mech and an advent trooper. And a shield bearer, for that matter. Does this mean I actually have to move my snipers forward? Because I really don't want to. Eh, might as well. I kind of like this idea of running double, sh double uh, sharpshooters, though. Huh, okay. Let me kind of run you into cover over here. Shouldn't be seen. Ibid. You really should be the only ones even if remotely in danger of being seen. Huh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, I think we'll go to the hover car over here. With the suicide doors. Yes, these, by the way, are called suicide doors. The idea that it was a suicide to open them while you were driving. Definitely a feature more often seen in stuff like 1920s and 30s gangster cars more than anything else. That's right, my pretty. Overwatch, okay. That's fine, bro. I can take you. Just you wait. Now you guys have crazy, crazy shots. Um, I can handle that. Yeah, you better be able to. And you are going to take over this stupid mech. Go. You are going to take over the mech. That is my prayer. Sort of. If I have to just strictly make it a prayer. If nothing else, you're going to make him stunned. Okay, we're, we're going to be really, really kind of, like, optimistic about this. And go. you got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, got to figure out the whole sky mi uh, skull mining thing is. And hopefully, I have heard that it's supposed to just boost hacker score like crazy. But that, of course, is probably a... Um situational thing. I think it is time to reveal the secret weapon. Uh, will I be able to go here and hit everybody? I don't know, but let's, we should be able to go here at least with the shield bearer as well as I'm Yeah, I know. I was hoping to actually hit all three guys at the same time, but you know what? Two out of three ain't bad. Just like Meatloaf said. Bagoom! Okay, so mission critical supplies seem to be okay. And that bro is like a second and a half away from being dead, which is even more awesome. Now you. Can apparently not do anything worthwhile that I really care about. Uh, you, however, 
can do a fair amount of damage to him if you hit, of course. And you shall hit. There we go. Decent fire so far. Ogre is still over here as well. Yeah, you're out of range except for anything else. So what you're going to do, you're going to just probably take this advanced trooper. And then some. Good God. Check it before you get too close. Oh no, shake it before you break it. So you're going to troop up here. And since that mech now has zero overwatch, you should be able to just like blow him to smithereens. So blow him to smithereens, please. There we go. You want some more? Now hopefully this it should be all set, right? Add to everybody. Status confirmed. That is everybody. Are down and the area is How stunning is that? I think that was pretty darn good. Completely flawless. That double um, sharpshooter thing was honestly might have been the perfect way to run this particular mission. So yeah, 12 up, 12 down, 15 turns taken, but you know, at the same time I cut out all the kind of boring stuff so you guys get nothing but action, and I'll see you guys back at base. This is Connell Works signing off from the mission port portion of this, and I'll see you for the base building in just a second.